everyone, I'm Chris Ericlee and welcome to your Tuesday edition of the PE Crime Blotter. The City of Riverside has announced they will no longer be contributing their $100,000 to the reward in the Christopher Dorner manhunt. And I'm joined now by Person Enterprises, Brian Rocco. So Brian, uh, what exactly is their explanation behind this? Well, the terms of the reward were that Christopher Dorner had to have been uh, captured and convicted. Now, obviously, neither happened. He died in a, uh, a fiery uh, encounter with uh, law enforcement in uh, Riverside, or excuse me, San Bernardino County. And so uh, the city of Riverside said, well, the exact terms of the reward were not met. Therefore, they're not going to pay uh, the reward. Now, so far, uh, two people or two groups have come forth. The couple that was tied up in the cabin in Big Bear and then also the gentleman who had his car taken by Dorner during the pursuit uh, and also uh, several of the other groups that participated in the reward have now said that they are not sure that they will end up paying as well. Right, and there's, there's backlash, public backlash against those decisions uh, now. Uh, the story we wrote, we received uh, several comments from uh, Riverside residents. Uh, one says, I'm a life lifelong proud resident of Riverside. In my entire lifetime, I have never been so disappointed with the city's decision. Uh, she goes on to say, this is a slap in the face and injustice to the families of Officer Crane and Officer Takius. Uh, another person says, uh, the city offers rewards to help get information and gang killings too, so will it, be a, uh, will it promise a reward and then back away from it in these cases? Another person says, pretty slimy way to get out of it. And another person says they never had any intention of paying out the non-existent reward. It was all a ruse to get the public to help them. So uh, a lot of strong emotions in this. Uh, the exact criteria were not met, but a lot of people feel like, okay, you're playing with semantics and that uh, you should pay out the reward anyway. And uh, one of those other killings that occurred here in Riverside was that of Lorenz Simmons. There is a reward for that, and you contacted uh, officials uh, regarding the reward for that and other killings that they have here uh, for rewards in Riverside. Right. I asked the city of uh, Riverside, and I'm still uh, awaiting a response, uh, to find out the specific criteria for the $50,000 reward uh, for information on the slaying of Lorenz Simmons. Also, uh, Riverside has uh, a reward out for people who report uh, graffiti and, and for, uh, in those cases where people get uh, arrested and convicted. And so we'll have a, a story on PE.com uh, hopefully soon about what the specific criteria are for the reward so people don't get blindsided again. You've got to imagine there's uh, plenty more to play out in this situation with the Dorner reward. Absolutely. There's a, a lot of money at stake and, and people uh, in many cases justifiably are seeking it. All right, Brian, thanks for joining us. That does it for your Tuesday edition of the PE Crime Blotter. Be sure to join us right here on PE.com for the latest on this story.